Hey guys, this is uh, New Hampshire Regional Cop Block. Uh, my name is JP. Uh, I used to go by JP Freeman, but I've been getting a lot of um, comments of, oh, you're hiding who you are. Uh, so it's JP Phillips uh, or Matt Phillips. Um, today I'm going to do one of my mini casts to touch on a few things that some of our fans are not liking and try to explain a little bit on uh, some of the tactics me and Ethan. Glover do for New Hampshire Regional Cop Lock. I'm just going to get uh, one thing straight. We are not part of the Free State Project. We're not Free Staters. Um, we're li libertarian minded, liberty minded, and both me and Ethan share um, some views that are the same. Um, we don't exactly agree on everything, um, but we have one goal, and that's police accountability, demilitarization of police, and we do not like how they're trained. Um, because the way they're trained, um, they take sociology courses um, and interrogation training. They basically are trained to lie and to manipulate um, certain situations when talking to you to make you incriminate yourself, even if you didn't do anything wrong. Um, hence the reason why uh, a lot of people um, end up getting arrested for no reason. Um, one of the biggest uh, things that we've been catching flack on with comments on, our, on the New Hampshire Regional Cop Lock YouTube channel um, is me not facing the camera towards uh, police. Now if an interaction is when they come to me in a hostile manner, I get their face every single time. Um, if you see uh, uh, the most recent one which is labeled two unprofessional Manchester police toddlers. Um, that's actually a video that we posted last night. And then um, uh, Manchester police illegally stop and frisk. I got his face. That was a good interaction. Uh, but situations like this, uh, this uh, six days ago, well, last Thursday, we uh, interviewed a uh, Manchester police officer named Christopher Day. Officer Day, which was a really good conversation. Um, like right now, a week, just a week has passed. We've got 1,298 views. I don't know if you can see this. It might be too bright for the camera, but I'm actually looking on our YouTube channel right now. Um, as far as the JP chases bully ass white butt, butt, butt cops on foot, which is a, another great video. Just got almost 3,000 views already, and that was last Thursday too. What's strange is this says. Um, six days ago, and this says one week ago. Weird. That's really strange because they were actually done on the same night. Um, YouTube needs to shape it up. Anyways, uh, the biggest thing we've been catching flack on is not facing the camera towards a, a cop like this Christopher Day. Now, if I had the camera in his face, um, like right up, we're not vi videographers, um, we're investigators. Um, in fact, I would really like to secretly take the police um, without them even knowing there's a camera there. But sometimes you have to take a full view of something if they end up doing something, you know, down outright illegal. I want to capture um, the whole thing. But anyways, there's a tactic to that. Um, they will lie and play actor and win the biggest Grammy in the book if you face the camera towards them. In fact, I want to pressure and put upon all the cop watches out there, whether you're from Peaceful Streets, Cop Watch, CopLock.org, or individual chapters like ours, New Hampshire Regional Cop Lock, um, and uh, Peaceful Streets, I think I already said that. Um, if you're investigating and interrogating or questioning a cop one-on-one, -on -one, do not face the camera towards them. In fact, if you point it down or lean it like this, they actually open up. Police are trained in perceptions. Okay? They're less likely to pull you over if you're in a 2016 GMC, you know, uh, SUV with uh, markings that say, you know, New Hampshire Daycare Center on the side rather than a 1990 or a 1988 Honda Civic with a bunch of kids in it. Um, that's a perception. I know I'm, I'm throwing out a stereotype, but sadly, it's the truth. They'll pull over that Civic 
way more times than um, the newer mom looking SUV because they're trained in perceptions. Their perception with the camera in their face is, oh, I'm going to be on YouTube, so I'm going to lie my way out of this. They're going to make the conversation short. They're going to retreat like they always do. And they're never going to get their true colors out of them and what they think politically, how they're trained, what their aspects are, anything of the sort. So if you face the camera down and, and or secretly tape them, um, you'll get their true colors and you'll be able to do the investigation quite simple. Getting sick and tired of the same person over and over and over and over. Face the, face the camera towards his face. Put the camera towards his face. Be a real cop blocker. Put it to his face. You're never going to get the truth if you get it in his face. Um, sorry, but nope. Um, that's not how you do it. We get way more information. It, it might not be easy for the viewers, but usually I get their face right off the bat and then I put it down afterwards. Um, and try to have a decent conversation, try to get out of them what their training is and what they think. Um, like this uh, video of Officer Chris Day discusses policing um, video that was posted. Um, this was actually posted by Ethan um, from his phone because my camera actually died that day. <clears throat> but if you notice, he has it facing downward. He, the, the cop probably didn't even know he was being video recorded. Um, um, which is ab absolutely perfectly legal here. Now there's other ones like the Manchester running in a Phantom Cruiser one. I got that f in full view. Um, the bailiff prevents entry because we may be free staters. WTF video. I have it facing down because one of the main reasons why they weren't letting us in is because of the camera. Um, and then there's a few others uh, that I've been catching flack for. The undercover Manchester cops, um, when they refused to identify themselves and I chased them off, I got all of their faces straight up because that was a bad interaction. They're, in, they're acting in a legal manner at that point. Um, and uh, this other one, CJP's polite sometimes, and that's Hookset Police Department, Hookset New Hampshire. Doesn't have that many views for being three weeks ago, but it's 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 getting up there to 2,000. I want to show more good interactions. Um, it's it's really sad that the bad interactions get the most views. I guess it's more entertaining um, than uh, having a good conversation about cops. But I think it's important to know how they think and uh, what's on their mind, their political stance. All those things are important for for the public to know where their community policing stands. Um, I mean, we were out till like 3 a.m. last night in Manchester, and I got like three or four videos out of it um, because uh, we're fully engaged and uh, frequently going there because that, that police department's corrupt. Um, they, they have policies in place to violate your civil rights by taking recording devices without a warrant, subpoena, violating the Fourth Amendment. Last night I got a stop and frisk one, um, which is really, really bad. Um, totally a violation of our rights. Uh, but I wanted to point that, uh, the, ca the camera pointing thing, to the, to the fans and to the subscribers to let you know it's a tactic. We're not videographers. We're not out to gain any, you know, Grammy Award or MTV filming award or anything like that. It's investigative and it's a it's a good tactic and it works. It gets more out of the police than not. Um, and to give you an update of what's going on, um, I am I'm, I'm not going to file a uh, civil rights suit against Manchester until the full investigation of the complaints are done. Because according to uh, New Hampshire rules of civil procedure, you're supposed to exhaust all remedies before you file. Um, and until we get that notice from Captain Tessier from the Manchester Police Department, we can't file. And I, I know some people have been asking, um, some uh, fans have been asking, and we've been getting emails. When is the suit? When is the suit? When are you going to post the PDFs of the suit? We haven't filed yet. Um, we are talking to a couple attorneys that are interested in the case. I'm not going to give their names until they actually represent us and we have a contingency agreement or whatever going on with that. Um, we also have been waiting to hear back from the ACLU. Um, but most recently, I have a new complaint 
out to the uh, Captain Tessier about some things that happened last night uh, with the Manchester Police Department. As you can tell on the YouTube channel, if you watch, you'll see a couple videos of a, you know, four knuckleheads. Um, they're yelling out the, our names and and uh, baiting us and accosting us to react in a certain way or re accosting me. Um, apparently they know all about me, so I got a new fan club. Not only Keen PD, but Manchester Police, uh, they all know me by name. Um, which is really funny, because I have a, no a legal notice to quit and letting them know that uh, any retaliatory behavior would be um, not tolerated. Um, and that's what they were doing last night. They're totally and in, in fully engaged in retaliating against us, using their little idiotic tactics and making up laws and shit. So there you have it. There's my mini cast. I try to make it short and sweet, not to make the, the video too long with the mini cast and the, and the updates. Um, we're going to try to get some more of those videos in the vehicle out. Um, I know uh, we've been trying to do a podcast, but. We end up talking about our personal lives um, a little too much because we're comfortable in the car, I guess. Um, I know Ethan was a little irritated at that, but that's all right. We'll figure it out and get some more of those 3D, those three-dimensional uh, driving pitches out to out to the folks. And uh, and I want to address the swearing. Um, we've been getting a lot of, especially on telling off the county sheriff in Keene, New Hampshire. Um, it's a uh, it's a uh, video that has 18,000 views, and it was done one month ago on uh, Severin Freeman from Lehigh Valley Cop Block in Ricardo from Allentown, Pennsylvania Cop Block. We did a meetup, and we ended up bumping into a Cheshire County Sheriff here in Keene, and he failed to identify himself. I want to clarify, I have history with that cop. That police officer shoved somebody by force during uh, Pumpkin Fest two years ago, and he is a known road pirate bully, and he frequently, frequently pulls people over for no cause whatsoever just to try to get revenue into the county. So I already don't like him, but when you don't respond, you're going to get a bad reaction out of me. People, seriously, if you're adults, and you're worried about swearing or someone saying the F word and, and having a vulgar behavior when they're angry towards a bunch of murderers, liars, cheaters, and people that steal your property, kill babies, murder tens of thousands of animals a year, um, I'm going to be pissed. Um, so, you know, deal with it. That's all I have to say about the swearing. And I'm getting sick of hear you know, hearing the comments about it. Um, it, some of them are warranted. I know I used the F A G word a couple times. It's a I'm 41, so um, it's it's a uh, it's a bad habit. You know, my sister's gay. I have a, an uncle that's gay. I'm straight. I'm married with kids. Um, but you know, some people it makes them feel uncomfortable. Uh, you you don't have to watch the video channel if you want, but it's free speech. Um, and it's a British word for a bundle of sticks. So just think it, think of it that way. Um, the UK uses it. Uh, but it's not, not a word that I frequently use. Uh, out of expression and anger, it probably just comes out because I'm, you know, pissed. And they're, they're acting like a, a pile of sticks. Um, that's how dumb they are. They're not dumb as doornails, they're dumb as sticks. Um, so there you have it, minicast. This is JP. From New Hampshire Regional Cop Block. Stay tuned, hit a like, subscribe, and uh, enjoy our videos. And make sure when there's a police interaction, you capture the whole interaction, but the audio is the most important part. Um, if you think they're going to lie, if you think they're going to hide shit, hide your recording device. Um, if there's something outwardly going on and they're doing something blatantly illegal at a distance, you capture the whole thing and get their face, badge number, and plates. The plates are really important. I try to get that right off the bat. So that lets you know uh, some of our tactics and the investigative techniques. And um, if you understand uh, uh, the rules of uh, chain of command, that's basically how we make complaints. We move up the ladder from the bottom to the top. We don't go like from the top and work our way down. We start at 
internal level first and then move our way up and then if nothing happens we file um, so that's basically what we do on uh, and if anybody is in New Hampshire um, feel free to contact the, uh, the FB page or uh, one of our emails or contact us straight through the YouTube channel on New Hampshire Regional Cop Block and uh, remember badges don't grant extra rights